Hi guys, uh, welcome to another episode. So today I'm going to review the last house boom that I actually have. Um, I do watch back all my videos, so I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore the last review for the mango flavor one, if I'm mistaken. Which is quite odd, because you know, I rotate through my shirts like daily and like just happened it's the same shirt today as this one. So yeah, um, back to it. So today we're going to review the last house boom that I do have that I could find. Uh, once again, so let me just show you. Um, this is house boom. Yeah. The bottle's pretty cool. I've always liked the bottles. So uh, we're going to start with the normal four points. So it's price, taste, unique selling point, and is it worth it, yeah? Apparently it's actually four ringgit, RM4. So uh, it is actually one dollar, right? Coke is only 250 for the same amount, which again, like I always say, it's a bit expensive for a Malaysian made product, yeah? I think the, the price really goes on the whole marketing, the whole design, and also this glass bottle. I don't know if it matters, whether the, whether the company will do well or the company is doing well because of the whole differentiation thing, but yeah. So the price is 4 ringgit. Uh, let's just straight on move on to the taste and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, let's see. This is the laminate flavor, sorry, you guys didn't get that one. So the laminate flavor, that is gas because it is a sparkling juice, so. It tastes like normal laminate, but it's not so strong. Uh, the mango one was really, really good, uh, even though still it's pretty, pretty pricey. Uh, let's see the laminate one, let's see how it tastes. It's non-alcoholic, it's just quenching, it's sparkling real juice. Once again, they use this, um, this one, it's just laminate juice. So it's not puree and it's also not uh, extracted like the grape one. So this is just pure lemonade juice. So uh, with a little bit more uh, additives and preservatives, yeah. So it's the normal ones. The one we can always get in drink. So let's try the taste and see whether this can beat the mango one because I really love the mango one. Okay, um, Oh, on the offset, right? Um, the taste uh, is flat. It's flat. It doesn't taste like you're drinking sparkling fruit juice. Um, the gas is there. Don't get me wrong. The gas is really, really there. But you know how you have uh, when you drink lemonade, you really have that really, really uplifting, refreshing feeling. There's no uplifting, refreshing feeling. This is actually quite heavy for for a lemonade drink. I don't know if I didn't shake it or is it supposed to shake. Um, apparently guys no shaking or anything so I'm not supposed to shake it either it just is gently tip and enjoy so the taste does taste like lemonade but it is heavier than usual it actually tastes really really thick so um, usually when the drink is thick it's usually when it's hot but this is like super cold so I've been put in the fridge for like a couple of hours so it's really cold you can see dews on it yeah so I don't know why it's quite flat and quite heavy uh, the other thing is um, it is sweet, but there is a little bit bitterness from the lemon juice, yeah? Sorry, from the lemony juice, apparently. Um, other than that, that's not much. You can't really smell it, I don't know why. Like the mango one and the grape one, you can really smell it. This is like, the smell is actually quite dull, so. Taste-wise, it's not so good. I wouldn't pick this lemonade. I think I'll pick another brand lemonade that's much more refreshing than this. It's quite heavy for a drink. I guess if you, maybe they assume that you're going to put ice. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I guess back to the next one, the next point is uh, unique selling point. So unique selling point wise, uh, I've always liked that the bottle is actually glass, right? It's actually more sustainable than, than plastic if any of you environmentalists are out there. It's actually glass. I don't know how easy it is to, to recycle glass in Malaysia, but I, I know overseas pretty much it's quite easy. So if you, you give back the glass, you can get a, a 10 cents or 20 cents. I have some friends that actually do it back in the UK. So, quite cool. Um, the other unique selling point is, is Malaysian, of course, yeah. So, I again recommend that everybody just try House Boom at least once. If you really like it and if it's your taste, then go ahead and keep buying it. But to me, it's not. It's really like, this is not my taste for lemonade. If I'm going for a lemonade drink and I see in the shelf, this is definitely not the lemonade I'll pick, yeah? Alright, now, the last point. So, is it worth it? Um, no, I guess, no, not really. For 4 ringgit, you can get a cheaper lemonade because lemonade is just lemon, lemon juice plus water. There's really not much needed, you know what I mean? 
uh, it's just lemonade plus water. So I don't know why you have charged it so much. Maybe you want to keep the charge sanitized. That's why this is thicker than the normal one. Uh, because the, I know the one that's very lightest is the grape one. It tastes great. I am still for it. Um, if you had the choice between lemonade, mango, and grape, just choose the grape one. It'll never let you down. Okay. All right, guys. Um, again, not worth the lemonade one. Buy another lemonade. But do try house boom at least once. All right, guys. Thanks for watching another video. I know my videos are getting longer. I think about five minutes something. If you guys like a shorter video, do tell me. And if you guys think some of the points that I say, the four points is irrelevant and if enough of you say relevant then i'll definitely move them out but you know other than that i'm i'm pretty satisfied with the current format so cheers guys